Hello everyone, welcome to the Sage for CPQ training program. So, this side Amul Bernwal. I am going to discuss about the Salesforce Administrator project assignment number two. In this particular topic, I would love to discuss about the, our problem statement first. Let's suppose the customer is using Salesforce professional editions and would like to set up our approval in a Salesforce and due to limitation of Salesforce professional edition. Salesforce partner cannot use the Salesforce standard approval. So for this purpose, we are going to implement a customizable solution for the company. And here we are going to use the two level of approvals for uh, our customer. So let's move to the next topic. Next slide. Later. The project name should be um, two level approval in Salesforce professional editions. The project description is basically with help of the custom object, tabs, flows, and email templates, let's create a two level of approval in the Salesforce professional editions. So what we are going to do, first, you guys have to just sign up for a developer uh, <coughs> edition in your Salesforce org. So to sign up in a Salesforce developer editions, what you have to do, you'll have to go to your browser and then search for developer.salesforce. Um, and click on sign up button so now here you can create your own salesforce developer or so that you can start creating this particular project in your developer environment so the first step <coughs> that you guys have to do is call create a expense object object name call expense the api name should be expense underscore underscore c Record name should be expense number, which should be a auto number field. And while creating this expense object, you must have to check this tab wizard page so that the tab can be created. And give tab permissions to all your user profile. These are the field that you have to create on an expense object. Expense description, expense amount, expense type. Expense type should be a pick list values where person or your sales person who is visiting different locations for customer meet or something they would like to add their uh, travel detail they would like to add the expense dish date they would like to add the expense amount they would like to add the submitted date so on which date they are going to submit for an approval with, the, with their managers and bosses after creating this expense object field you will have to create this approval object underneath or correlated with the expense object after creating this approval object these are the list of fields that you have to create call assigned to approval status approval level approval comment and rejection comment expense which should be a master detail with expense object and expense owner which should be a lookup <coughs> create a approval lightning quick action button on approval so in this particular section we'll have to create a lightning action a button on approval object so that any assignee who is going to assign for a particular approval to approve the expense record they can go ahead and approve that a record itself so we have a approve button then click on a update record action type should be there and on a approve action button layout you will have to add the approval number approval comment and assign to and please make sure you are having this assign to what uh, field as a read only and then click save button after saving this button you will have to just add these predefined field values call approval status which should be a approve and then hit save button so after creating this particular action button the next you will have to create the reject button the reject button is similar to your approve button and uh, the label name should be reject and approval number rejection commit and assign to fields has to be added on the following layout and the approval status predefined pick list value should be rejected and then hit save button after creating this lightning quick action button you will have to go and add these approve and reject button on the approve approval page layout 
After adding these two buttons on approval place layout, the next step is to add some couple of more field information on a user object. So on user object, we already have the manager lookup to the user. This is the standard field, so no need to create. Approver 2 will be our next user that we are going to capture on a user object called Approver 2. Approver 2 could be a, like your vice president or your finance or whatever. And then these two, after creating this Approver 2 lookup user data type on a user, I move to expense object and create these three fields on a expense object. One is called Approver 2. Second one is called manager, the number of approval. The number of approval is basically a sum of count of all approvals. So let's suppose one expense is submitted for manager and approval two. So I do have three two records in each expense. Create a submit for approval lightning action button on an expense object. Now create a <coughs> Follow this step object manager approval, then button and links. Click on a new action button. Action type should be update record. Labels name should be submit for approval. Then name should be a submit for approval. Click save. Then add the submitter comment in the field layout. After adding this submitter comment, then click on save button and add the predefined pick list value, predefined field values. These are the field values should be set. Submitted it should be by default today. Submitted by it should be a by default user ID. And then approval status should be a pending and hit save button. Now this submit for approval has to be added on the layout. So add this submit for approval action button on the expense layout under quick action section. After adding this, you will have to create a flow on expense subject. So what Let's suppose some one of your sales rep who is going to create your expense record. In that scenario, your expense owners manager and expense owners approver lookup to the user record has to be updated on an expense record itself. So on expense, I do have two lookup user. One is called manager, another one is called approver two. So these two field information has to be updated with help of your expense object. With help of flow. Now, after creating this flow, you will have to create another flow on an expense object where you, we are going to update the record based on the action performed. Either I am submitting for an approval. So, let's suppose somebody is submitting for an approval. If submitted date is not blank, then also we need to check if the submitted date is changed and approval status is pending. Action one has to create a record for manager. So you will have to create two records with help of this particular flow. So submitted date is not blank. You have to perform two actions. One is for to create an approval record for manager and approval record for your approval two. So approval field information has to be set assigned to should be a expense manager. Approval status by default should be pending. Approval expense should be linked with the expense that we have been submitting for an approval. Then approval label one should be one because the manager it will go for the first to a manager and second level is to be your uh, what you call approval two. The expense owner should by default to the expense owner ID, which is uh, sales rep ID. Now in the same flow, we'll have to create another action called create a approval record for manager same mapping but here your approval should be labeled to and it should be a pending and the assigned to should be a your expense approval to so approval to will go always to your assigned to as similar to your expense manager should go to the assigned now moving to the another you will have to create a flow on approval record let's suppose somebody is is uh, you'll have to check the Approval status is called pending and expense is not blank and assigned to is not blank. In this scenario, you will have to send a email notification to your approval first. So you'll we are creating a 
blow on approval record so that if somebody is creating approval record and some assign to is not blank in that scenario assign to should be receive a notification so you will have to we are going to add an action to send an email notification to assign to user create an email template on approval template for a approval request and it's, it's, uh, just associate this approval action to your flow action now on a approval itself you will have to create following condition and following actions in which what we are going to do let's suppose somebody is approving the record or rejecting the record in that scenario if somebody if one of your manager is approving the record or approval two is appro approving the record the data has to be updated okay on the expense so your expense data has to be updated so let's suppose approval one which is your manager get the receive of notifications to approve the record manager will go and click on a approval record to approve so the expense object has a pick list values for approval status this approval status has to be updated by approved by manager similarly if your approval to which is your vp or regional manager so regional manager is going to approve so approved by approval to has to be updated and email notification has to send to your expense owner so these two actions you have to perform in each conditions <coughs> now moving to the you will have to write another like a flow create a flow on approval in case approval is updated with rejected so similarly that we see for approval approved sections and we will have to again uh, write a similar reject conditions also so somebody some uh, one of your manager is rejecting or one of your uh, approval to person who is your regional manager or vice vp is going to reject so this rejection status has to be updated on an expense object now coming to the another uh, so these are all uh, related to our uh, in order to set up your approval level one and approval level two these are all list of set of activities that you have to perform now please follow my youtube channel for uh, keep yourself updated on a admin uh, related project and also a cpu related project so you can follow this particular channel please also do subscribe for your latest update and also if you can share to your social media network LinkedIn, then it will be great thank you so much